tonight in a crime spree stretching across several cities in two northeast Ohio, Ohio counties. This all came to a violent end today when a teenager being chased by U.S. Marshals crashed. News 5's Homa Bash in our newsroom right now with the story in Homa. The Marshals think that this teen is behind armed robberies in Lake and Cuyahoga counties. That's right, Danita, and this kid has been on the run since mid-December. When you see the surveillance video, you will see just how dangerous he is and why it was so important to the task force to get him off the streets. This is where the crime spree begins. Chilling video inside the Rite Aid right across the street from the Willowick Police Department. It shows a young man point a gun at the clerk's face, demanding money. A second robber steps around, grabs cash from the drawer. In seconds, the masked men run outside. The three robbers then go to the Circle K in Willoughby, hold a worker up at gunpoint again. And you guys are both okay? Nobody needs any kind of rescue or anything? No, I, you know, you're, we're startled, you know? From there, they jumped into a stolen Jeep, led Wycliffe police on a chase right into Cleveland, where two bailed and one 16-year-old was caught. Days later, the other teen was brought in and confessed. He was just 14 years old. Today, U.S. Marshals Violent Fugitive Task Force captured the third. We attempted to do a traffic stop. Um, he didn't comply. Um, and shortly thereafter, we, we lost sight of the vehicle. Moments later, the minivan crashed into the guardrail right in front of a home on East 141st and Ida Rose. The 17-year-old suspect tried to run again, found hiding under a porch nearby. You know, that puts everybody else, not only him, officers, but, you know, the rest of the public in danger. So somebody like that, is, it's extremely important for us to get him off the streets as quickly as we can. Luckily and amazingly, no one was hurt in any of those crimes. The U.S. Marshals Tax Force says they arrested 3,000 fugitives just in the last year. In the newsroom, Hama Bash, News 5.